I'm back at the cemetery again. I just took my seatbelt off. That's what the dinging is for. But anyway, I have tried. I have been working on this all summer. As you can see, it's very much fall right now. I am leaving to go to my Florida home in two weeks. And if I don't catch this person in two weeks, I'm going to have to spend another winter not knowing. And to be honest with you, at this point, I know my husband wasn't cheating on me. This woman, I know who she is, I know what she's about, and she couldn't, a lot, all she ever dated was married men. And now that my husband's passed away, she decided to pick up, pick out a dead man to try to, to romance. What kind of sick human being is that? But anyway, I configured a wreath and put the put the camera in it. I've got a towel covering the lens up because I've got it all set up. Figured out that the camera was too far away to pick up the motion sensor. So here we go. <coughs> it was too far away from the grave to pick up the motion sensor. So I am going to see I put a towel over this so it wouldn't pick it up. But I glued leaves to it. I've done everything so that the camera won't show. And I'm going to put it up here and hope and pray this time that it that I can catch this person. I'm so tired of her. I could pay a, a private investigator but it was going to cost me about thirty thousand dollars. And my husband left me plenty of money but I don't think he'd want me spending this money on this person. So I'm going to put it right here. And it was out here. I came out here earlier today, and you can see these roses. This one was from like a week ago. This one was just fresh put here yesterday, which was, no, Thursday, which was the day she usually does it. And I flung it over there, and she knows that that ticks me off. So I think that she knows that I'm mad, so she's going to be coming out here. So I put this here. I don't want to stand in front of it because I want it to capture her, not me. Let me see what the angle on that is. See? See the camera? I glued leaves all around it so that it's kind of awkward. There. So that, see, look. When she walks up here, it should be able to capture her. I'm hoping. I think I need to point it in a little bit more. No. Maybe I had it right the first time. Well, that's it. So it is definitely fall. I had it way back on that tree and it was too far away. It wouldn't it wouldn't grab the motion. Then I put it here and for a week it sat here and it took ten thousand pictures. But some of those leaves on that wreath were blowing in front of it. It took ten thousand pictures for five days of um leaves blowing and it ran out of memory space. So I went and bought, I spent $100, bought a 64 GB memory card. I bought lithium batteries that are supposed to last forever. And hopefully, now I'm going to say a little prayer to my husband and ask for his help and God's help to let me find this person on camera. So till next time. See you in a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay, today is Monday leave for Florida on Saturday. So this is like the last hurrah. And just walked up here and there is a rose. There, I told you last time, the camera is hidden in that little, I don't know if you can see it in there or not, but there's the last rose. We're taking the whole thing out of here this time because if I don't catch her, I know her name. If I don't have it on film this time, I give up. I just quit. So we'll see how it goes.